Bango, snapper trout, catfish, ayuat, kuras. My occupation is a fish vendor. From since 1978, I took up this work. And, and now, I've seen so much years now, I mean, I've come down to 42 years now, I'm in this job. That's what I mind my, my family with, my wife, my kids them, and so forth. When I wake up in the morning, say about quarter to one, say 12, 30, quarter to one, I wake up. Now I'm doing my normal chore, go to the washroom, take a shower, so I'm gonna take a shower, brush my teeth. My missus might wake up, she make a cup of coffee or I'll give me a cup of porridge. Then I pack up, well, over, the, the afternoon, I put everything inside the car trunk, or my bucket and whatever. Pull out around about, say, one o'clock, quarter to one. Within that span of time, I pull out, and run, when I meet at the wharf there, my purchase my fish, family don't buy me fish. I come early is because to get a better deal. You get a better deal because when you come early, you buy that from the boat itself. Instead, you buy from the third hand or the second hand, you can call it, right? Now, you have two set of people that come on the wharf to purchase fish here. It's like me, I'm a hawkster. In fact, if you're a fish vendor, but you do a hawkster. And then you have the eaters who just come and buy it all. The eaters just probably sometimes they pay a more extra price because they come late, they buy back from me. As you can see this marker inside is very fresh, you know. Let's leave the, the, the wharf around four o'clock in the morning there. Yeah. Quarter past four, come back to the masjid at McDumas. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. I offer my prayer there. When I done pray, then I come down to Eccles in Cowpen Street, park my vehicle there, took my bicycle up, load up, and go across in the scheme. And I would wait there by my father in law corner there, at 6 30, and I start sung my bell, my sung my vice around the area. I'm coming around my fish. Fish, fish! Fish, fish! Fish, fish! Pass your mackerel! You know? And sell wrong on the by the time, as I told you before, by the time 9.30, depends on the sales on the, the road, 9.30, 9 o'clock, I finish 10 o'clock. By the time 10.30, I'm back home. You know, I have a lot of customers because I supply from Eccles to Houston, that's my area. I sell like Gail Barker, Snapper, Grey Snapper, Red Snapper, Trout. I got like Bangor Mary. I sell Catfish, Coraz. Whatever my customers, I have customers in various, you know, some it like Coraz, some it like Catfish, some it like Gail Barker, some it like Snapper. And whatever they tell me, well, I purchase that. I love the job because, you know, you get by, you know, you meet, interact with a lot of people, you know, different people, rich people, poor people, you know, and this guy, you know, different people, you know, different religion, and so, different, you know, you interact with them, and so, you know. I find it very nice, you know, for me, I feel comfortable in, in doing fish work, you know. You are self-employed. You work, you go when you want, you come when you want, there's no one to tell you anything, you know. You're the boss of yourself. Sometimes I may get a little extra work, so after lunch, I got a little weeding. I pick up my grass cut and I got a hustle. As my age, as I to October come, I'll be 65. But thank the good Lord, I still have a little health and strength and I'm making full use of it. Since the COVID, honestly speaking, it affects business a lot. My, as a small fish vendor, a small man, it affects me. It affects. Because are the sales is not so, like before, before 20, 2020, in 2019, was fine, but soon as COVID, 
the sales has deteriorate, you know. And then you see with the mask now, I just got to re mask, but some, I just got to put it down because then I don't have a shell or something, I just got to use my, my voice to notify the people I'm, I'm around. I had to take the, pull on the, the mask. But when I meet to my customers, I pull it up back. I try to take all precaution. All the precaution I can take, I take it, you know. For my own self, for my family, for my neighborhood. I'm asking you outside there, you can please take all the precaution from the elder to the young ones. Please, I'm begging you all. If something is very, very serious, we can see outer world, we can see right home in our own country, how it just have our country economy just shaking, you know, and I beg everyone outside there, please. Take all the precaution, rear your mask, sanitize, and take your vaccine. Because up to yesterday, I took my, me and my wife took our second dose vaccine. And thank God we are feel good. We are feel good. Yes, we took it at, at Dim Diamond Grove, Tarmac, Market Tarmac. And I'm begging you all, please, can go and take your vaccine. The young people, especially, because you have some of the young people, seems to me like they don't believe in it. And I'm begging you all, young ones, old ones, please, take your vaccine. Thank you. God bless you.